Genie AI just dropped their beta and it's wild. This thing wants to be the interface for intelligence. They're letting people join the waitlist right now. I'm gonna break down what this means for you and your business and why this could change how we all use AI. Okay, so Genie AI just announced they're in beta and their mission is nuts. They wanna craft the interface for intelligence and bring people together. Here's why this matters. Most AI tools right now, they're just chat boxes. You type something, it spits out an answer, that's it. But Genie is talking about making AI an actual interface, not just a tool you use, but something you work with, something that connects people, that's different, and they're opening up a wait list so early adopters can get in, test it out, give feedback. This is the beta phase, which means it's raw, it's new, but it's also when the best stuff happens because they're building it with real users. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Let me tell you what we know so far, and then I'll tell you what I think this could become, because there's not a ton of public info yet, right? but the clues are there. First, they're calling it an interface for intelligence. That's huge because most AI is dumb in how you interact with it. You ask a question, it answers, then it forgets. No memory, no context, no collaboration. Genie seems like they're trying to fix that, make AI remember you, understand what you're working on, help you over time, not just one message at a time. Second, they keep saying bringing people together. That tells me this isn't just you and a chatbot. This could be teams, multiple users, shared workspaces, collaborative prompts. Imagine you and your team all working with the same AI, building on each other's work. That's powerful. That's not what most tools do right now. Third, they're in beta, which means this is the time to get in. Early access matters. You get to shape how the tool works. You get to see features before everyone else, and you get to build workflows before your competition even knows this exists. And here's the thing. The AI space is moving fast, really fast. Google just dropped updates on world models. DeepMind is building Genie 3, which creates entire interactive environments. The bar is high. So for Genie AI to stand out, they need to deliver on this mission. They need to make AI actually feel like an interface, not just a tool. Now, if you want to learn how to actually use AI tools like Genie to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds of hours with automation, you need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where I teach you the exact systems I use in my agency, the workflows, the automations, the prompts that actually work, not just cool demos, real business results. I show you how to set up AI to handle customer service, how to automate your content, how to use AI for lead generation, and you get access to templates and SOPs you can use right away. No fluff, just systems that work. Check out the link in the description. Back to Genie. Let's talk about the beta, because this is important. When a company launches a beta, they're looking for feedback. They're looking for early adopters who will test the product and tell them what's broken, what's missing, what's great. This is your chance to have a voice, to shape the tool. And honestly, to get ahead, I've seen this play out with other AI tools. The people who got into ChatGPT early built massive followings. The people who got into mid-journey early built businesses around it. The people who got into Claude early figured out prompting strategies that no one else had early access matters, not just for bragging rights, but for real business advantage. And here's what I like about Genie's approach. They're not over-promising. They're not saying we have every feature under the sun. They're just saying we're in beta. We have a mission. Join us. That's honest. That's smart. Because over-promising is how you kill trust. Under-promising and over-delivering is how you build loyalty. So what should you do right now? Simple, join the waitlist. The link is on their X account and their threads. I'll put the links in the description too. Get on that list because when they open up access, you wanna be in the first wave, not waiting months to get in. And while you're waiting, start thinking about how you'd use this. What problems do you have with current AI tools? What would make AI actually useful for your business? What would an interface for intelligence look like to you? Because when you get access, you want to hit the ground running, not fumbling around trying to figure out what to do. Let me also say this, the AI space is getting crowded. There are new tools every week. Some are great, most are garbage. What separates the good from the bad is focus, is mission, is execution. Genie is talking about focus. They want to be the interface for intelligence. That's specific, that's clear, that's different from just being another AI chatbot. And the timing is interesting. We're at a point where everyone has access to powerful AI. ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Perplexity, 
the technology is there, but the interface, the way we use it, that's still clunky, that's still new. That's where the opportunity is, not in building better models, but in building better ways to use those models. Think about it. The iPhone didn't have the best technology, it had the best interface, the best way to use the technology. That's what changed everything. That's what made smartphones mainstream. Genie could be trying to do the same thing for AI, not build the smartest AI, but build the best way to work with AI. Now, here's what I'm watching for. When Genie opens up, I wanna see how they handle collaboration. Can multiple people work in the same space? Can you share prompts and workflows? Can you build templates that your whole team uses? If yes, that's huge. That's when this becomes more than just another tool. I also want to see how they handle memory. Does it remember context across sessions? Does it learn from your feedback? Does it get better over time? Because right now, most AI tools are static. They don't improve. They don't adapt. If Genie can do that, it's worth paying attention to. And I want to see the developer ecosystem. Are they building APIs? Are they letting other people build on top of Genie? Because that's how you create a platform, not just a product, a platform that other businesses can use and build with. Here's the reality. Most AI tools will fail, not because they're bad, but because they're not different enough. They don't solve a real problem. They're just another chatbot with a different name. Genie has a chance to be different, but only if they execute only if they deliver on this mission of being the interface for intelligence. And that's why you should get on the wait list, not because it's guaranteed to be amazing, but because it could be. And if it is, you wanna be early. You wanna be there when it's still raw, when you can still give feedback, when you can still shape it. Let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm joining the wait list. I'm going to test it as soon as I get access. I'm going to see if it lives up to the mission. And if it does, I'm gonna build workflows around it. I'm going to integrate it into my agency. I'm gonna teach it to my team, because that's how you stay ahead. You don't wait for tools to be perfect. You get in early and figure it out. And that's what you should do too. Join the wait list, get access, test it, uh, see if it works for your business, see if it solves problems you actually have. Don't just collect tools, use them, build with them. Now, let me wrap this up. Genie AI is in beta. Their mission is to be the interface for intelligence, to bring people together. They're opening up a wait list. This could be big or it could be nothing, but you won't know unless you try. The AI space is moving too fast to sit on the sidelines. You need to be testing. You need to be learning. You need to be building because your competition is. And if you wait, you're going to be playing catch up. So go join the wait list. Now, if you want to learn how to actually use AI tools like Genie to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds of hours with automation, you need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where I teach you the exact systems I use in my agency. The workflows, the automations, the prompts that actually work, not just cool demos, real business results. I show you how to set up AI to handle customer service, how to automate your content, how to use AI for lead generation, uh, and you get access to templates and SOPs you can use right away. No fluff, just systems that work. Check out the link in the description. And if you want the full process SOPs and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. That's it for today. Hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.